Welcome to another session of the AT Library Tutorial Series. This tutorial is going to cover how you can understand your report that is after turning in your work. So you realize that this student is having 83%. Uh, that is the similarity index. So you have to download this report, then you have you also have to understand so that you can work on it to reduce the percentage to the required percentage that the, the research directory or the institution requires from you. All right, but before we jump into the Tenetine, in order to know the similarity report or to interpret the similarity report, we want to take you through how Tenetine actually works because uh, we have comments uh, in our comment section. Some are asking um, what is Tenetine about, others also ask um, what is Tenetine checking. So, we want our students to understand that um, Tenetine is just checking the content of your document uh, against the number of materials, that is the contents in those materials archived in Tenetine database. So Tenetine is not saying that your work is plagiarized, but Tenetine is trying to tell you that, look at this particular work, 83%. So 83% of this particular work when it comes to the content matches with some contents in other documents sitting in Tenetine database. All right, so if you look at the architecture of how Tenetine works, um, that's what we are seeing on the screen. So Tenetine has a lot of um, materials in the database that um, when you drop in or when you turn in your work, it checks whether it has some similarity with those documents in Tenetine database. So you realize that there are three major things that Tenetine do scan through your work when you turn in your work. So the first one, Tenetine searches, that is the internet archive. So the moment you push your work into Tenetine or you turn it in, um, Tenetine first check whether the content that you have is the same or similar to another content that is sitting on the internet. So with the internet archive, we are saying that um, Tenetine has over 70 billion current and archive web pages in its database. It also has um, 68 million pages crawled and updated daily. Tenetine also, we have over here 50 million new pages added daily. So for the internet archive, if you push in your work, or when you turn in your work, then it checks um, the content that is on, on the internet. And looking at the figures over here, you realize that um, the algorithm is very great. That is um, huge. Now, apart from checking whether your work or the content in your document matches with some content on the internet, it also checks um, the content that is sitting in uh, scholarly publications. Now, what are these scholarly publications? We are seeing journals, articles being published in these journals or databases. So, Tenetine checks 3,700 open access repositories. So, it crawls these repositories every um, weekly. So, just imagine. So, the update, there's constant update. We also seen that Tenetine has over 47,000 subscription journals that it checks your work through those journals. Also 69 million subscription um, articles. And also we have 1,700 publishers from around the world. So Tenetine scans or checks the content in your document from all these um, articles or publications out there. All right. Now, apart from checking the internet and also articles or books or book chapters sitting in these uh, scholarly publications, Tenetine also checks a uh, global student paper database. So after checking your work, as you push your work into the Tenetine um, system and you get the required similarity um, percentage and you are done and research decide to archive your work into the Tenetine repository. That work becomes part of Tenetine's global student paper database. So the moment someone submits the same work 
Tenetine will just um will notify us that oh, we have this particular work in our database and the contents uh, in the document matches with the current one that you are submitting therefore you are going to have a percentage like let's say uh, 90 percent or whatever so we have global student papers database that Tenetine actually checks when you submit your work into so um this report is as at uh, 2019 so as of 2019 Tenetine is archiving only uh, almost uh, 1 billion student papers so just imagine and so from 2019 to 2022 currently imagine the number of uh, student papers sitting in Tenetine repository we also have 1 million papers submitted daily daily so 1 million papers uh, submitted daily to the Tenetine um, repository all right so that is in the final one we have submissions from around the world so these are some of the um these are the areas or the, the regions that uh, Tenetine the the algorithm do the checks to find out whether um a particular content in your document matches with um a document setting in their database all right so we move on to our Tenetine dashboard and this is what we are saying. We are saying that um, the project work class um, started 8th of uh, September and is going to end uh, 31st December, that is 2022. So when you submit your work, you have the opportunity um, to do that for um, a maximum. Let's say you can do it for three times. And for that three consecutive times, you are going to get your report instantly. But after that, third one if you are trying to turn in for the fourth one you have to wait for 24 hours and it follows in that order now when you submit your first work and you realize that the percentage is huge and you want to quickly do uh, or submit another one you realize that we have the rest submit over here now we've submitted our first one so we want to see the similarity report or you want to generate the report so you can just click on it so that is the feedback studio is loading so now once you are done or the studio populates the report for you you have to download it so you click on the download then you click on current view take notes you click on current view so it's prepared for download once download is complete you see it over here so that you can just open your report and go through all right so our report is ready so let's open it okay all right so this is what we are seeing so before we get to the bottom of this uh, particular report um study the report very well you realize that um for each for the numbers that we have over here or let me put this way for the colors showing over here you realize that there's a number sitting on top of the colors so take a note so every color is having a particular number every color is having a particular number as you're seeing all right so you move down to where the actual report is so we are saying that um your document is having 83 percent similarity index that is when we check i um, mean the Tenetin database um, is similar or the content in the document is matching with some content in other documents sitting in Tenetin's repository or database. So now you realize that um, it's giving you a breakdown. Um, so when it checks, we have 79% uh, internet sources. That is 59% uh, from publication and also 69% from what student what papers. All right. So it matches with uh, some uh, content in these documents and so we have 83 percent similarity index so this is what we are looking at so we are supposed to uh, reduce this 83 percent to let's say 40 percent or below 40 as required or um, that is required from you so you have to reduce it down you have to bring it down actually so we are saying that um, looking at the numbers over here, we also have some percentages over here. To reduce your 83% to let's say 40 or below 40, 
first of all, just focus on the first, the first number. Um, then you move on to the second one, the third one, because you realize that always is the first number that carries the highest percentage. So this one is saying that 24% um, is being picked from link.springer.com, that is the internet source. Um, 11% is also picked from uh, tailorandfrances.com. We, we also have uh, 11% picked from nothing. So we also have um, uh, 4% uh, that is uh, from internet source that is core.ac.uk. So we have all these things that you can just um, scroll, just go through and see how your report is going. All right. Now, how do you then reduce the percentage that is the 83% to, let's say, 40 or the required percentage? So, as I said earlier, when you tackle the one with the highest percentage, the number, so we have 24% over here. So, you quickly go to your documents, then you look for um, content that is being highlighted and also showing number one sitting on it. So, we have content like this so you realize that the purpose of my business is to generate of any business is to generate money so you right so this one these ones are the one that is shooting the 24 percent so all these things must be worked on that is it must be a uh, paraphrased so if a student is able to um paraphrase these this particular color bearing number one on top it's likely that the 83 percent will now reduce then when you are done you jump to colors that base for two number two on it so you treat the number two so you can work with the number one first number two when you are done you can turn in your work again this time around i believe that your percentage can reduce significantly so when your percentage reduces then you move on to let's say another color uh, bearing let's say number three so as you do gradually you can turn in your work to check your progress that's all so that is it so that is the um, interpretation when you generate your similarity report so in our next tutorial uh, coming up um, we will take you through how you can also download the download the uh, formatting guidelines from the atu institutional repository so after passing through this stage you also have to uh, format your work so that when you get to the binary unit or department it becomes very easy for the binary session to bind your work all right thank you once again for watching ATU library tutorial series always remember to subscribe to our channel